I have been attacked on the street, I've been called slurs, I've received death threats, I've been harassed in school, I was beaten up in school. Kind of all of like the classic things that are done to gay children. There's not a lot of value on my life as a black trans woman. There's not a lot of value on my life as a black person, just a black person. But then add trans, add that to the intersection. It's easy to victimize people that there's no value on. You know, if no one cares, who's going to look into it? We can barely get police to follow up on the victimization, the murders, the stabbings, the missing, the violent interaction. We don't even have numbers on how dangerous years in the past were really for transgender people. Because a lot of us were living in the shadows and a lot of people who are transgender weren't even able to be openly transgender. Some community members, no matter what happens to them, they don't even want to report it because they've already had trauma or some victimization from an entity that is said to serve them, um, but it re-traumatizes and dismisses them. I have not had a bad experience. I'm still dreading my first bad experience since I've transitioned and come out publicly, but I know I'm the exception. Every year we do a candlelight vigil during our uh, Pride Week and we read out the names of all the trans victims uh, from the previous year. It went on and on this past year. There were 40 some. We, we held up their pictures and said their names and told their stories and it was heartbreaking. 